Pat Gilligan, Head of Sales for FBD in the Midlands and the West, has popped in to talk to us. Pat, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Can you tell me about the queries, the kind of queries you're getting from farmers at the moment in terms of insurance? Um, I suppose in the last couple of days here, the ploughing has been mainly around um, some, some increase in queries and claims and, and, and some instances that happened on their farms and who to contact and where to contact. Um, but in general, what we get is uh, customers coming in, uh, speaking to us about their policies and maybe wanting to um, inquire about some uh, new, new policies with us or... Uh, you know, we get a, we get a, a lot of, of, of people coming in that are with us for many many years uh, to say hello and just to, just to chat to us in, in, on our stand up there. Um, the queries in the last couple of days, I suppose, as, as a result of the weather events, has been mainly around um, uh, you know uh, the, 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 the maybe some some damage that has been done to their, to their property and whatever, and who to contact them, where to contact them, we we sort them out with that. Has that been the trend this year, considering the, the extreme weather events that we have had? Um, have you seen an unusual amount of, of calls and queries? I suppose it's been in peaks. You know, the, the, during the, the, the heat wave, you don't get as, you don't get as much. It's not as, not as big an incident for, for uh, the insurance company. But um, earlier in the year, during the heavy snow, there was a peak at that stage. There's a bit of a peak again uh, since the storm uh, the day before yesterday. And there's some bad weather forecast again for the weekend. So you, you get it. Um, th there's a level that, that comes through all the time. And then when you're hit with these sort of extreme weather events, you get a peak and, and, and we handle that through. And of course, as a result of the weather situations that farmers have been, have been dealing with, um, farm incomes are projected to be reduced a lot uh, this year by the end of the year and uh, as a result I suppose some farmers might be looking to, to maybe reduce cover um, what would your advice be to those farmers who are, are debating that at the moment yeah I, I think the temptation is when, when farm incomes come under pressure like they are at the moment the temptation is to look at your insurance renewal when it comes in and say well, I'm going to cut this, or in, in the worst case scenario, I'm, I'm going to go without insurance for a while. And, you know, I, I would stress to, 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 to our customers out there and to everybody out there that when farm incomes are, are dropping in under pressure, that's really the time that you need your insurance policy more than ever. Um, we can, of course, help you with uh, managing uh, the, the, the cost of your insurance and making sure you're correctly insured. But the last thing you want is a situation whereby you take the insurance off your farm buildings, for instance, and you get a weather event like what we've had in the last couple of days, and your slatted shed or your milking parlour is, is blown away or serious damage is done to it. If your income is, is, is under pressure already in that situation, then trying to get yourself back into business uh, and trying to repair the damage that has been done can be very, very difficult and put your family farm under, under serious pressure. And that's what we're there for. That's what we do. We provide an insurance policy uh, for our customers in the event of these extreme conditions that, that cause uh, damage, which is going to damage their income. And our, our business is about putting farmers back into their business. Um, so I would, I would stress to customers that maybe, especially over the, the back end of the year and cattle prices are not very good at the moment, and, and you know, the, 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 the word amongst the agricultural industry is that, that this is going to continue for a little while. Um, I would stress that they contact our people in our branches and speak to our managers and our sales staff uh, and go through their policies with our people and we will do our best to make sure that they are insured correctly um, and, and at the right price that they can afford. And Pat, you have a farming background yourself. Um, is that an advantage to you in the position? So you have you have that that personal understanding of what the difficulties uh, that, that farmers face. Yeah, I, I think so. Um, I started out life as a dairy farmer myself on a small dairy farm just here in South Offaly, and um, my my career sort of went in, in different different directions, and I ended up in the insurance industry, and I've been with FPD for the last eleven years. Um, I think, yeah, farming is a, is a unique industry and, 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 and a fantastic industry to be involved in. But I think when you're speaking to a farmer, it's always really useful to have an understanding of the, the unique attributes in that, such as livestock and prices and so on. Uh, and it certainly helps you to empathize with your customer and to understand where they're coming from. 
And I suppose we in FPD would be uh, unique in the market in that a huge amount of our people come from far farming background. So we have the knowledge of, of the industry and the ability to speak with the customer on a one-to-one -one and to understand what they want and try and design according to that. And also, uh, farms are becoming much more, more mechanized as well. Um, more, there's more technology involved. Um, tr farmers trying out things differently, doing things differently for, for the first time. Um, would you advise farmers, is that a different type of policy? Do farmers need to kind of shop around and look at different types of policies within, within FBD? Um, to meet their, to suit their farm and their business? Um, I, I, I think it's, it's not about shopping around within FBD. Our policy is, is, is designed to grow with the customer um, and it was designed for farmers. Um, and it, it, can, uh, it can accommodate all the expansions that a farmer might, might need or want over the, the, the years of their business. And indeed, dairy farms in the last number of years have become very, uh, have become much larger, but also very uh, te technologically uh, advanced in terms of how they manage their dairy herds and their milking parlors. And all of that can be covered, and all of that can be can be can be accommodated. But I think the thing is to to review that because because uh, the farmer expands his business uh, and, and, and grows his business and, and changes and buys new machines it doesn't mean that we know that in the insurance company so the customer needs to come and talk to us and we of course will every year review with them but they need to tell us what, what changes have been there um, uh, so that we can make sure that they are correctly insured for that. I would just say one thing on that and, and maybe it's a slight, slight aside to it but, but it is about safety and, and, and I, I couldn't finish the interview without mentioning the fact that you know, farms, and we're always talking about safety on farms and the agri land and everywhere else is, is pushing this out there. But as machines and technology gets, gets bigger and uh, farms get bigger, they're becoming small industrial units now. And, and I would stress to all farmers to, to, to just be careful, you know. I mean, we see the, on our end of it, we see the, the tragic consequences that happen after, after the worst case scenario. Um, but in between that, there is also people who get injured and get hurt and are not able to work or are out of work for quite a period of time. Um, and I would stress to people, just take your time, just stand back a little bit, a little bit, and, and just make sure something before you go do it is safe. Um, and why we we stress about insuring buildings and insuring machines and insuring all that, there is a need to insure the people themselves as well for personal accidents to make sure that should the worst thing happen that the farm is, is financially viable during that period. Very important message to finish on, Pat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.